Right now, many tri-state families are struggling financially, trying to dig themselves out of debt. Tonight, you're going to meet one of those families. What's different about them? They didn't buy too many clothes or cars. They didn't run up their credit cards on vacations to Hawaii. They're dealing with huge medical bills. Ten-year-old Taryn Walker takes ballet at the School for Creative and Performing Arts. She's very excited to be in this year's production of The Nutcracker. You can't tell by looking at her, but Taryn has sickle cell anemia, a disease which has no cure and can be extremely painful. I feel like I'm getting stabbed over and over again. Taryn's brother, eight-year-old King, also has sickle cell. The day we visited, he was wiped out from a recent hospital stay. Me and my brother have been on x-ray for two years. For the children, pain and powerful drugs are facts of life. It's just how it is. This is Tylenol. King is Tylenol. We're coding. We have oxycodone for King. For their parents, it means constant care. There's one for four thousand. <laughs> and huge medical bills. Here's one for six thousand. All told, Terrence and Charm Walker owe some two hundred thousand dollars. It's overwhelming. It makes you feel like you're never gonna get ahead. Charm works full time, but Terrence has been in and out of work since losing a good job in the recession. The Walkers have gone from the American dream. We had two cars, a beautiful home. Um, a deck in the backyard. To losing it all and moving in with her mother. Charm says that was the breaking point. The walkers aren't alone. A recent study found that medical bills are the number one cause of bankruptcy. In fact, medical bills force two million people a year into bankruptcy. The walkers have a long road ahead financially, but they've learned to ask for help. What good do we do if we can actually heal the patient? But then there's a financial devastation that happens. So Chris Law heads up customer services at Children's. His staff is there to help families navigate the health insurance bureaucracy. His best advice? Don't be afraid to ask anybody at any juncture how you can get financial assistance. The reality is that the debt is not the most important thing. Over the weekend, Taryn was readmitted to Children's with a fever and chest pains. Both Terrence and Charm say the resilience of their children gives them hope and keeps them going. I put it in God's hands. I mean, I've been up and I've been down. He's taken whatever he can take from me and I'm still here. The good news tonight is that Taryn is out of the hospital, so we hope she can go back to ballet practice soon. As many of you know, once you're in debt, it's hard to get out. Tomorrow, Nine on Your Side is going to show you how you can do it. We'll have stories all day, starting on Good Morning Tri-State. And on WCPO.com, there are tools and resources to help you do it. And you don't want to miss tomorrow's Nine on Your Side at 6 p.m. John Mattery sits down with national money guru Dave Ramsey. He's helped millions get out of debt, and he shares with John nine ways to do it.